Now they're awake. Now they're awake. Welcome back to BBLB at 6.13. So, five new housemates went in and it seems their bags were packed with love. Half-wit fancies B. Tom fancies Noreen. Kenneth fancies Noreen and Dogface. Noreen fancies Tom. Marcus is jealous. This is all too much. Here to untangle the web of lust is Agony Aunt Simone. Bien, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Mum. How are you doing? You all right? Oh. I just wet me ankle as I went for the double kiss. I'm sorry about that. Uh, now, half wit fancies B, right? Yep. This is a nightmare. Uh, what are the chances of romance? Well, it's not sounding good, actually. She is says it she doesn't it... like him. Yeah, I thought it was all going to happen. I thought she was up for... We thought she was up for free love. That was the whole reason she got put in the house, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. And now, well, she's just not playing game, is she? Right, okay. This summer of love, is it going to happen? Right. I, I mean, in principle, they are very similar, right? Mm. And it's normal for you to be attracted to somebody who is quite similar to yourself because deep down we're all quite narcissistic and the similarity is safety. But in reality, I'm afraid they're not that similar because I think he is genuinely eccentric and she, as we've just worked out, well, this... She thinks she's a bit of a fake, thing. basically. I think she's a little bit of a fake. She's oh. talking about, oh, I don't believe in monogamy. And then, quite frankly, when someone comes in front of her and, and offers and is up her... For it. Yeah, doesn't want to like, know. Oh no! No, yeah. right, she's a fake. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about Tom, Noreen, and Marcus? This is really spicy. Oh, obviously, Marcus wouldn't stop badgering her for a bit of love. Tom's come in there now. He's a big hunk. Clearly, she's attracted. He likes her. What, what's Marcus going to do? Well, it's all going on. Marcus has a lot more power than we think, actually, because Noreen knows she he protects her. Yeah. Completely protects her, and she's not going to want to lose that. Right. Okay. So, so just even from that angle, she's not going to jettison Marcus. No. Out she doesn't know how long he's going to be in there. Should we see what's going on with the love triangle, guys? Yeah. yeah. She's got a serious set of pins on her, isn't it? I think I don't want to upset Marcus, but in the same respect, I think Noreen is a very pretty girl. Mania, she's Marcus's girl. It is, tell me that, mate. Noreen is on whether she likes him or not. I talk, ooh, muscles on my tosh. Oh, he's kind of cute. Oh, my favorite favorite then, Noreen. You're my favorite friend. I told Marcus, I don't fancy you. We're friends. Yeah. You fancy me, it's it, like. Gotta watch it, otherwise you're gonna get a flying kick in the face, scoot over. Nick, do do they? A flying kick in the face? Sounds good. Who's it from, you or Marcus? <laughs> She's like a spider catching all those men in her web, all right? So Ooh. let's talk through who she's caught already. First up, we've got Shree. Well, What's the deal with Shree? Shree was the first fly that she caught in his web. She mm. ate him up. She spat him out, George. She did, didn't she? And then they didn't speak again. Oh, so oh, he oh, is... Oh, lady. He's right, an sure, absolute yeah, goner. Some of that, boys. Yeah, very good. Right, OK, next up, now, who have we got? Uh, it's only Marcus. Right, I can't stand him. Yeah, right, have a bit of that. <laughs> Right, Poor anyway. old Marcus has definitely been caught, but she knows it is better to keep him alive than finish him off. I, really? She's that, do we Ooh. think she's that much of a, a, a plotter? Yeah, right. so he is an absolute goner. Well, now, I think I get a new can. Right, come on and move up. Well, let's go over to Half Wit and see a vest. Tell me about them. They What's were lucky, them? actually. They right. nearly Could got caught. Foul, yeah. They nearly got caught, but they didn't get entangled and they managed to fly away. Right, okay, so only so a little, little bit of a little two. bit of a squirt. Just a little two. squirt, eh? <laughs> Right, uh, and then we've got Tom over here, the big hunk, the dream boat who's just gone into the house. Yeah. One of them. Ripples, good. Tom. Sorry, right. I, I got overexcited then. Right, okay. Talking about ripples, George. Ripple Tom, he is nearly being entangled, but he knows that this issue with Marcus is a bit of a thing. Why don't you just give Marcus a little but slap? It, well, it's not it's quite as simple as that. I'm going to get some uh, of this funny string and spray it all over Marcus's face. Like I that. think, I predict, he is going to get entangled in her web and then who knows what is going to happen. We to want him. it to happen, don't we, guys? Yeah. We want a bit of love in the house. That would be too depressing if not. The summer of love. Oh, sorry, I nearly caught you there for a minute. Uh, right. Uh, I think that's it. Give Simone a big round of applause, everybody. Oh. Old Tree over here, as you can see, is still struggling to free himself from Noreen's cobweb, so we gave him some help. We gave him a stopwatch and we arranged for him to meet some of our more attractive, desperate viewers. I'm just looking for a girl with a good humble, honesty, intimacy and commitment. I would love to go on a date with Shree because I think he's just so hilarious, he's so funny. I think Shree is just really a great guy. I'm a bubbly person and you'll never regret it if you choose me. 
Hi. You all right? Yeah, pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Ria. Hi, I'm Laura. What's your name? Hesha. Pleased to meet you, Shree.